my friends and welcome back to my storybook. Today we have a very exciting new springtime adventure. We are going to be talking about spring again because it is such a fun season and if you look over here I see some adorable springtime animals and if you take a look at my background over here I have some pretty cute springtime friends with me here today. Who do you see? There's White Bunny and little yellow chick and some beautiful springtime flowers. My friends, the title of today's book is called When Spring Comes. What happens when spring comes? What comes during springtime? That's right. Little baby animals come, new plants come. There's also a lot of rain during springtime. Rain can happen too. Also, though, sunshine comes out in the spring as well. All right, my friends. Well, in today's story, we are going to be reading about all the amazing things that come when it's springtime. And you'll see us doing a little compare and contrast. Compare and contrast means when we find what's the same and what's different between two different things. So, we are going to be comparing and contrasting what it was like before springtime and how the earth and nature looks after it's springtime, during springtime, all right? So if you are ready to explore some springtime adventures, my friends, go ahead and give me a double thumbs up. Excellent. I think we are ready to get started on what happens when spring comes. Let's check it out. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is When Spring Comes, written by Kevin Henkes and illustrated by Laura Dronzak. So that means that Kevin Henkes is the author and the author does what? The author writes all of the words and the illustrator, Laura Dronzak, does what? Illustrator draws all the pictures. That is correct. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this adorable cover and what do you notice on the cover of our book today? Right, I see some beautiful flowers blooming in the trees. It looks over here like it has a red belly, a little bumblebee over here, and three, what animals are these? They look like little white kittens, three little white kittens. And I noticed that the grass is all green with little flowers. What color is the sky? A nice blue, some yellow words, lots of bright colors for springtime, right, my friends? Well, when spring comes, again, we are going to be reading about what are some things that come during springtime. And if I take a look at this cover, what are some things you think we're going to read about in the book? Maybe kittens, insects, what kind of plants? All right, well, let's see what actually comes in the spring. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book, When Spring Comes. Our author and illustrator, our publisher, Green Willow Books. And over here, my friends, I see a whole page covered in some springtime items. What do you see on this page? Right, there's umbrellas, these yellow flowers, maybe daffodils, the kittens again, the bird. Oh, a kite, my friends. Do you like to fly kites? Oh, very fun. All right, well, this is the very first page. And wait a minute. Does this look like spring to you? What season does this look like? This looks like winter, right? All of that snow. Wait a minute, where is spring? Let's see. Before spring comes. Oh, before. The trees look like black sticks against the sky. Oh, in winter, some of the trees lose their leaves. My friends, where you live during winter time, do the trees still have leaves or do they lose all their leaves? It depends where you live, right? Some places, all the trees keep their leaves and some places they don't. But my friends, what's different on this page? Look at how many leaves and flowers the trees have and the ground is all covered in grass. But if you wait, 
Spring will bring leaves and blossoms. Oh, how beautiful, my friends. What leaves and blossoms have you seen lately around in nature? That sounds gorgeous. And what is going on in these pictures here, my friends? It's like there was a snowman during winter time, but then oh, he's melting. Why? It's hotter during springtime, right? If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow, all the little hills of snow, smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they are gone. Oh, and what animal do you see on this? Little bird. So springtime comes and all the snow melts. Before spring comes, the grass is what color? Brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. Oh, and what little animal is that? The little mouse. And what beautiful color flowers are they? So pretty. My friends, do you see flowers growing in the grass outside now? You might in some grass. And if you wait, what is happening here? If you wait, an egg will become a bird. And oh, what about this? A seed will start growing. Oh, this a little seed is growing into a flower. My friends, have you ever watched a bird hatch? Sometimes you might have a little nest outside your house. And have you ever planted a seed and watched it grow? What kind of seed and what kind of plant did you grow? Wow, I've grown some vegetables from seeds before. It's so cool to watch them grow in the spring. Spring comes with the sun, <gasps> all nice and sunny, but uh, then what happens? Spring also comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Lots of rain in springtime because why do you think there's so much rain or we need so much rain in springtime? Well, if everything is growing and blooming and blossoming in the spring, what do plants need to grow? They need lots of water, right? And sunshine, so there has to be a mix. But maybe you've heard the phrase, my friends, a lot of people say, April showers, April rain brings May flowers. Because showers and flowers, right? So it rains a lot in April, so that in May there's lots of flowers blooming in the spring. Oh, and what do you notice about this mama bird here? She's making a nest. Looks like she's sitting on the eggs. And then what happens? They hatch. Oh. oh. And here it looks like a rainy day. Do you like mud? How about do you like puddles? I thought you might. Well, I hope you like umbrellas. My friends, do you like using umbrellas? Some people like just getting wet and playing in the rain, right? I think sometimes you need your umbrella to stay dry. Sometimes you can go out and play, right? And before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, what happens when you wait? How is this picture different than this one? Let's compare and contrast. What's the same? What's different? What's the same first, my friend? There's dirt, there's a bunny, but what's different? Now there's some grass, some green things. Right, but if you wait, Spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. So spring will make the garden start to grow. My friends, do you have a garden where you live? If you have one or if you want to have one, what would you plant? What do you plant, my friends? Ooh, what a lovely garden. Oh, and look at this colorful page. What do you notice here? 
Look at those cute little kittens. One, two, three kittens. Again, a butterfly, some plants. And spring will call out the pussy willows. A pussy willow is this plant over here and it has like this fuzzy cotton on it. A pussy willow. Can you say pussy willow? It's these plants right here. And spring will call out new kittens too. My friends, have you ever pet a kitten before? What does it feel like? So soft, right? Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. So sometimes it looks like spring is almost here, but then <gasps> there's another snowfall. Sometimes it goes a little back and forth in the beginning. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. My friends, where you are, do you think spring is finally there to stay? I think spring is finally there to stay where I am. In the springtime, there will be buds, little flower blossoms, and bees, and boots, and bubbles. I notice all of those words start with the b, b, b sound. Buds, bees, boots, bubbles. My friends, can you think of another word that starts with that b, b, b sound? Oh, nice words. Well, let's look over here. Can you see, can you find me some buds? Point to the buds on the page, like the little flower blossoms. Nice. How about some bees? Point to the bees. Oh, there's one. How about the boots? Point to some boots. This little girl has some boots on and bubbles. Oh, there's a lot of bubbles all over, right? So those are some fun things during springtime. Which of these things do you like to do, my friends? Run around, maybe blow bubbles. In spring, there will also be worms and wings and wind and wheels. I hear another group of four words that all start with the same sound. Did you hear what sound that was? What sound was it? W, w, sound for W, worms, wings, wind, wheels. Okay, my friends, give me another word that starts with the W sound for W. Nice W words. All right, let's see. Who can point to the worms? Ah, you found him. And who? Oh, what do you think this bird's thinking when she sees the worm? Birds like to eat worms, right? And wings, who can find some wings? Oh, the butterflies. What about that wind? How can you tell there's wind in this picture, my friend? I look at this person flying a kite. What do kites need to fly? Kites need wind. And wheels. Where are those wheels at? On the bicycles. Nice finding all those things. What do you like to do? What springtime activity do you like on this page? Next. I like flying kites, riding my bike, gardening. Well, when spring comes, my friends, you will feel it. You will smell it and you will hear it. During springtime, my friends, what might you feel in the spring? Maybe like the flower petals, or feel the warmth of the sun on your face, or the rain on your skin. What about what do you think you smell? And this kind of reminds me of Spring Stinks with our friend Bruce the Bear the other week. If you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. But what do you smell during springtime? Probably the beautiful smell of flowers. And what might you hear during spring? Maybe baby birds. Well, when spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Dot, dot, dot. That means it's going to continue on the next page. It's called an ellipses. And, oh, but what's going on over here? Like she's taking care of her garden, and I see the kittens over here, and oh, puppy. So, even when you think you are done waiting, so spring's already here, you're not done waiting yet because oh, now you have to wait for summer. So, summer comes right after spring, my friends. And if I look at this page here, this is sharing with me some things that are about summer. What are some things you notice that are some summer things? 
Summer has some different flowers like sunflowers, watermelon, popsicles, sandals, bows, fireworks. Oh my, I think I am already excited for summer. Oh, but we're going to have to wait for summer. But don't worry, there's plenty to enjoy in spring while we wait. Correct? But don't worry, there's plenty to enjoy in spring while we wait. Right? Right. All right, the end. Wow, what a fun book about spring, my friends. I loved all of the different springtime animals, all the comparing and contrasting we got to do, all the bright colors and springtime activities. What was your favorite part about this story? And what are you looking forward to about the rest of spring? <laughs> That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so again, you can check that out on my blog, mystorybook.com, by clicking on the link below for that craft idea and a ton of other fun crafts to do as well that go along with our read-alouds and reading adventures. And my friends, I'd love to hear about your own springtime adventures or your own reading adventures or crafts that you make. So please reach out to me. I love to hear from all of you. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, on YouTube, on the blog, through my email, Facebook. All the social media links can be found down below. I love going on these reading adventures with all of you, my friends. And if you enjoy them too, please be sure to like and subscribe to my Storybooks YouTube channel to keep up with all of our reading adventures. I can't wait to share the next next one with you. All right, but that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. I hope you had some fun learning about spring and celebrating spring, but until next time, enjoy your springtime and happy reading.